Hi, I'm Natalie and welcome to Sew Stitch Show, my frost tube channel, mainly about cross stitch. I haven't really shown anything else apart from the crochet that my mother-in-law has done. Um, but I do do some sewing um, and have some homemade project bags. Um, today's frost tube number five um, and I've got some notes today. Um, uh, thank you for all the returning subscribers and any new subscribers. Welcome, hello. Um, uh, I've been participating in the March Madness uh, with the Still City Stitches this month uh, and quite a few people have come across from Instagram so hello and welcome. Um, one thing I did want to address in my last video, for some reason when I was editing I realised I was doing a lot of heavy breathing and I know that can be very off-putting so apologies. Hopefully today will be better. Um, I've decided to come back up to this location again because the natural light is so much better um, here than it is downstairs where I normally record. Um, so yeah, uh, let's start. Um, so I've pulled out a couple of um, three previous finishes and one fully finish. Um, and the first one I'm going to show you is a project that I'd stitched before I picked stitching back up in 2020 properly. Um, and I thought I hadn't stitched on an even weave before until I found this, which is, a, I'm not sure if it was a kit or where it's come from, um, but it's definitely something I've stitched. I've got a vague memory of it, um, possibly from two houses ago, which is, 15 years ago so um but yeah it's gorgeous it's two over two lovely blues um on a cream even weave but yeah the intention is to get that framed um and put up um so i've got a few things i want to to get framed so i need to start a pile um and then just take them um the framers I used to use in a town not too far from here um, so I'll probably I'll go back there um, I do do some framing myself um, I think I've shown pictures on Instagram of stuff I've done myself um, but not on here um, and there's one at least one I've not shown on Instagram so there's lots of finishes <laughs> um, and not so many fully finishes. Um, so the next one is something that I stitched for Christmas for my son, which is this lizard, um, which is actually an extract of um, a pattern that was on Etsy. Um, I'm just trying to see the name of the shop. My lovely cross stitch. Um, and it's actually this orange lizard here um but my son loves green wanted a green um lizard so we pulled out all the old anchor that i'm working my way through but not replacing um although the background that i've done on here is actually a dmc which is good because i ran out of the color that i needed so um end up buying some more um, just to finish it off um, he didn't want the quite the long tail so we switched that up um, and I think I put a bit of dark stitching around the mouth because um, it looked a little bit odd with that very pale colour um, and then I just stuck um, some stick on velvet that I ordered off Amazon which is a very dark green colour oh, it's coming up a bit better there um, he loves it. It's it's in use. Um, I have stitched a poker one, Pokemon one, for my other son. It's off in his bedroom somewhere. He's um, he's going to be ten this year, and yeah, he's he, he likes his own space mainly these days, but he still shares with his brother, which can cause a little bit of friction sometimes. But um, there you go. Um, next one, um, next previous finish, 
I saw this going through and I thought, yeah, I'd like to show that. Um, which is a Saxuma Street. Sorry, it's got a big crease down the middle. It's been um, folded up in a, a book until I decide what I want to do with it. Um, cushion, frame, don't know, any ideas? <laughs> um, absolutely love this place from Suxuma uh, Street. Um, I got the pattern off Etsy. It's on a 32 count Zweigart snow. So it's got the opalescence in it. And I, when I stitched this, I could not put it down. Um, and that was 2021. Um, yeah, absolutely loved it. Um, but I thought it's a nice message to send out. Um, in what seems like the bleakest of times at the minute. Um, which, moving on, um, so two by two stitch art. She's a, um, a Ukrainian designer. Um, and I purchased this pattern. I can't remember. It's a newer purchase, I think, rather than an older one. Because I've bought from her before um, a sample of fifteen, the, the red one that I've got. I'll show you that later. That is one of her one of theirs as well. Um, so it's this motif here, and I've just done it like this. Um, I'm going to turn it into a scissor fob. Um, I just need to find the backing material for it, um, and that was stitched on an antique. Easy Guy 20 count Ada uh, with DMC 307 and 798. One day done. <laughs> um, and I think it was fairly early on before the Solidarity Stitch came out. It was like the Saturday or the Sunday of that weekend. Um, and I just wanted to, to stitch something um, and also share share her, their shop as well. Um, so if anyone likes that kind of geometric style. She's got other styles on there as well, but I'll link her shop below. Um, I haven't been on Etsy recently to see if the shop's still open, so apologies if it's not for the time being. Um, right. Shall we talk March Madness? Um, uh, so the first project I did was Wild Star of Snaps Jeeves for Gingerbread, which was this one. Um, Trying to be a bit more organised though, so hopefully you know some of the zipping noises. Um, so that's how far I got on that one, and that's just had one day's work on it. Um, and this went head to head with the Home Alone Broken Bags uh, Christmas ornament, um, <coughs> which I'll just put on the back. Um, and this has had two days' work. So I worked on this last night, um, and it's currently on Instagram, and I'll talk about that in a minute um, uh, on a vote. Uh, so that's how far that's got, um, and that's on a 20 count white Ada. Oh, sorry, the the juice for gingerbread man is on a 36 count uh, fabric flare in cream or ivory. Um, it's from Lakeside Need across in the UK. Um, yeah, and like I said, that's on a 20 count Ada. Um, so the one, the one that won um, was this one, obviously. <laughs> um, I already mentioned that it was going to be in later. Uh, so the next, next I stitched. I started stitching on whilst um, I keep wanting to say in that wild violet um, and we. That evening we'd watched um, 
like the UK version of The Apprentice and the news came on and I'm stitching this and I didn't want to stitch it anymore um, so I then went right I want to do something else um, so that's had one day's worth of stitching I do absolutely love it um, and it's nice to see the um, designer um, commented on the fact the fabric that I chose which is brilliant, amazing. Um, I also am eyeing up another chart of hers um, which has also got available as a project bag at the minute um, which is the Snipper Ripper I can't remember the third one um, if I can find a picture I'll pop it up um, but she's got this printed onto a canvas bag or you can buy them individually, or you can buy the whole chart, and it makes it um, a nice like, case to put your stuff in. Um, I've got an idea in my head, which is to cross stitch it onto canvas, uh, and then turn it into a project bag, which is lined as well, so the stitching um, doesn't get disrupted by it. But you know when you get an idea in your head, and you just want to <laughs> get on with it, but you've got so many other things that you, yeah, it's gonna have to wait. Um, when I was making the notes for this I was thinking I should really put this in a notebook that I've got in my like little tub downstairs just jot down the ideas that I've had because um, there's a couple of other ideas that are sort of floating around in my brain that yeah they'll, they'll, they will get done um, I think it's just the fact that I've start, started seven projects this month and by the time I got to the last one, I was a bit like, I don't want to start anything else. Um, but having said that, in my plans, I've got a new start coming up, um, which is a uh, will be a gift. Um, so yeah, it's all, it's all going. <laughs> um, so like I say, we were watching the, the news um, and I decided, no, I don't want to progress that at the minute. Um, not because I don't like the chart, like I say, I love the chart. I think it's just a meaning behind it at the minute for me. Um, when there's so much destruction going on and loss of life, I didn't want to stitch it. So I went across and got the Solidarity Stitch, um, which is a free chart. Um, I've got all the called for. Um, so I'm just so that's only had one day's work on it. I probably will return to it. Um, and this, so I, on the voting, I put this against. Uh, I don't know. Hold please. No, back in. Um, so that went against the Mill Hill. So, big board. Uh, and when I started doing this I started doing navy on navy that's the centre of the pattern in the evening that's not great um, so I was stitching this last night um, so I concentrated on the green area which is much easier to see um, there's no beads on that yet um, so I'm, with the with the previous ones I've done I've as I went along. Um, I've not done that with this one so we'll see how far I get before I chuck the beads on. Um, so yeah like I say that is going, uh, no, that won this round um, against the, the Solidarity Stitch um, and it is a, it's quite a project to get done before the end of the month but we'll see how far I get. Um, this is currently going to head to head with the Home Alone. Can't see. <laughs> um, when I looked this morning, the the Halloween was was winning at the minute um, by quite a margin. So I'm assuming that's probably going to be the one that progresses. Um, and what I will say on all of these is I absolutely love them and will return to them. Um, I think what I was missing in my um, whips was some smalls, you know, ones that you can just get done. Uh, so 
I had a small wheel, nail hill which got completed on my birthday. I, I've got like a sewing um, set, but it's like it's four pieces, but they're all the same pattern but slightly different. Um, so I think I got not fatigued, but a, a bit bored with that and put it down. So I need to get some other pieces that are small-ish that I can do relatively easily. Um, and part of the plans for G's for gingerbread man is to stitch more than one. Um, so yeah, that's probably, it's probably going to be a bit intense. Um, the next one that I did was the stitches going to stitch, and that's by the Blue Flower. Um, it is a free pattern and I've kitted it all up myself. I didn't use any of the call for. Um, just test that one. Um, and that way, ah, it's all going on. <laughs> the battery just died. Um, so that went head to head with uh, Let's Do What We Love. Um, and that is on a 40 count, which is my first time stitching on 40 count, um, using all the call for. I've sort of gridded it a little bit. Um, so these are in 10 block increments. Um, and they sort of marked off where the middle was. Um, I did do the outline twice um, before it met up. Um, and I'm doing that one over two, like I say, on 40 count. And that is a uh, Newcastle Linens Weigart in Cream. Um, I'm actually quite liking it. I thought I'd struggle with the 40 count, but no <laughs> i do quite like it um and that is due to get stitched today um because uh, that one won against the stitches going to stitch by quite a quite an amount um and then next was um two more firsts um which Sorry, I got these out before I started showing them and then realised I was showing them out of order. Started again, then they're actually human. <laughs> so it's like I say, it's all going on. Um, so that was the freebie by the Stone Street Stitch Works. Yes, I tumbled over that a lot last time. Um, and that is the Quaker Rose. It was on Instagram at Valentine's and I'm stitching that on a 25 count Lugana in Ivory Cream from Zweigart. Um, and I'm stitching it one over one with DMC 115, which you can't see the variegation that well at the minute. Oops. So that's the, the variegation. You can see it's going lighter where it's joining up here. Um, so I've just got to work my way around on that. And that went head to head with um, another first, which is a tiny modernist Biscornier, which I purchased a PDF from their website. Um, it's been in my stash for a little while. I think I did it, purchased it when they were having a 20% off or something uh, at Christmas. I don't think that was this Christmas, I think it was the Christmas before. Um, so this actually had two days work on it because it was already a whip and it was the only whip um, in the March Madness lineup that I did. Um, so yeah, this is two nights on it. So that is the, it's complete apart from the back stitching. Um, so there's another four of those to do and then the back as well as all the back stitching. Um, Although I have had a thought of if it does go through, I need to find something to go in the middle of the chart's upside down now. <laughs> um, I need to find something to go in the middle of there. Um, I don't think I've got anything in stash. Oh, but yeah, so I'll need to find something to go in the middle of here. So I might try the, the little haberdashery um, that's in, not too far from me. Um, but they mainly concentrate on sewing and knitting, which is fine. Um, but yeah, they've got some threads, but not all of them. Um, and that went through to the next round. Um, so if I just show you my brackets. Whoops. Um, so that's what we've got at the minute. 
Um, and as you can see, you've got Halloween Night Against Home Alone, which is currently on Instagram. Um, by the time this video goes out, that would have finished. Um, and I think that matchup will be starting to go on as well. Because um, I'm stitching that tonight. Hopefully I'll get this uploaded and I'll be stitching on that tomorrow. And I'll put the voting live late Saturday, early Sunday. Um, so yeah, we'll be on to the next two brackets. Um, and I can't remember who it was, whether it was So Me Sarah or uh, Kerry from Tiger Lily Designs was saying... When you're when they're voting for this last one, you can't stitch on any of the March Madness, um, so it's a, a chance to sort of do something else. Um, and I've woefully neglected um, two of the cells, so I'll probably work on one of those, um, which I will come to in a minute. Um, <clears throat> in terms of other whips that I worked on for before the end of February, um, I have two. Three, if you include the crystallised cell, because I finished that. Um, where is top? So I've been continuing to work on this piece. Um, so it almost meets in the top. Um, and like I say, this is a this is um, two by two stitch art on Etsy. She's a Ukrainian designer. Um, I'll link her below. Um, this one's called Sampler 15, but I will pop a picture in of what it looks like when it's finished. Right, this next whip is by Jan Hicks Creates, uh, and it's the Meditation Garden. I always want to call it the Tranquility Garden. Um, so yeah, gorgeous design. Um, she did actually stitch this in Miss Sater's silks. Um, but I couldn't afford that um, and wanted something a bit more special than DMC so I did, I've done my own colour conversion on it um, which I'll share once I finish at the end um, so I'll just cut a thread um, I'm doing this on 25 count Lugana um, I want to say marble or something but I can't remember um, I'll put it across the bottom of the screen, but it, I'm doing it two over two on 25 count, and as you can see, it's big. And I've also had another problem. My margins were too tight at the top and the bottom, more the top than the bottom. So you can see I've got about an inch down this side to an inch and a half, but at the top I was like an inch to half an inch. Um, up here so literally where that fabric joins is where it ends um, so uh, I was having problems stitching along the top um, so I quickly this is actually an old piece of old bed sheet um, I've just cut up um, and stitched on along the tops and the sides um, just so I can get it in a heap um, to stitch on it. Um, I was stitching in hand at one point and I started struggling with it. Um, so I started in the middle, worked my way down, now coming up along this side. Um, when I realised that I was probably going to run out of space um, across the top, I quickly measured out all the length up here um, and then across the side. Um, as I started going across the top here, I started getting worried about this side as well, um, which does have, it has about three quarters of an inch in terms of stitchable fabric and then the, um, oh, what's it called? Selvage, that's it. <laughs> um, absolutely love it. Um, I have actually bought another piece of this fabric. Um, it is actually going to be a gift um, for my mother-in-law. Um, 
I don't think it'll be for a birthday because that's um, April. Um, for Christmas, um, I've got another idea for a birthday, um, which is something I've finished previously, um, and I think it would she would enjoy it quite a lot. Um, she has commented it a couple of times, so um, I think it might be going to a new home. Um, I just need to um, redo the FFOing. Um, I'll show that next time. Um, they're actually coming down for Easter, so they're coming uh, hopefully the day after her birthday. Um, so I'll be able to give it to her then rather than risk postman or whoever delivering it or not delivering it and then paying for it to be delivered when they're coming anyway um, so yeah um, I was going to say yes I keep ho having the idea in my head of I quite like that too I don't like it too so big maybe I could stitch it one over one wouldn't it be nice to have them side by side <laughs> so you can see my the way my brain just carries on tinkering off on ideas and I haven't written it down because as soon as I got it out I went oh yeah I had that idea <laughs> um, so yeah looking forward to getting back to that I've put it down for the time being I couldn't couldn't after I finished um, the lakeside crystallized cell I could not put that down um, and like I say I was a bit worried about the edging um, so quick as you like before the kids had a play date whip the sewing machine out cut a piece of bed sheet and literally seamed it together um, and it, it gives you that chance to then get it in a hoop or a cue snap um, and stop the fabric from fraying and being able to FFO it although it needs a little TLC before it gets um, FFO and it's going to have to be really I think quite tight to the frame or tight to a mount um, in order to get it in um, although it's quite a big piece so I'm not sure I would want it with a mount anyway so yeah all to be considered <laughs> um, yeah so my next uh, project to show is the lakeside stitch along um, I'm not up to date with this so this is where I left it at part three. Part four is now out, which is obsidian, which is a lot of black, grey and orange, I want to say. Um, and it's going to go up here. Um, I haven't printed it out yet, but you'll, you'll see it on my next um, video um, or on Instagram when I do stitch it. Um, so I was part way through this one so I've finished that up done all the back stitch and it's ready to go and the colours on this just pop something I think it's, it is popping on there a little bit um, and this is on a stone cloud fabric flare 30 no 28 count um, I did like the fabric flare um, but I also like some of the over, over dyed, like the hand dyed, um, but they're, they're quite pricey. Um, so I think it's it's got to be a project that I I really want to push the boat out for. Um, so my next one, or my last whip, um, oops, was a mother's love sal, um, which is the. Um, what Remains by Blackbird Designs. I'm glad to say this is actually out at Nashville Needle, Needle Market. Um, so you should, over the next few weeks, be able to get this um, here in the UK as well. I know Peakside uh, went across. I'll link their shop below. They're currently closed at the minute because of being in America and then coming back here. Um, they did do some pre orders. Um, so yeah welcome to come and join the Mother's Love Cell um, I know some of them have finished already I'm making slow progress and I'm fine with that um, so here is mine so I went all out on this I went from traditional stitches I got 
um, the hand dyed silks, the this is a week's 37 count straw linen. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. Um, and I'm sitting, just stitching this in memory of my mother. Um, uh, what I would say is with the chart is I've copied it and stuck it all together so I can see it's one full piece. Um, not sure where I'm going next. There's a heart above here. I'll come back down to the flower. But there's a heart above here which has got like satin stitches in it. There is some specialty stitches although you can do it as normal cross stitch. Um, but I'll do the specialty. <coughs> I've done some specialty. Um, with the Northern Expressions Needleworks February piece that I did. Absolutely love that. <laughs> um, have thought about doing another one, which is the June one, which is a pearl one, um, which is actually the the month um, of my mother's birthday. So uh, it would be a nice companion piece. I think they they would sit nicely together. And I've still got another box frame. Uh, whether the white and pearl would clash, I'm not sure, but I might. Yeah, like I said, ideas are going around in my head. Um, uh, the next piece um, is actually plans. Um, so my other half's birthday is coming up soon, and he likes to do um, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so it sometimes gets referred to as D&D &D. um, and I want to stitch him a piece of that really um, and he is what's called a dungeon master so he sort of maps out the story um, leads the other people along the path whatever happens happens um, they will do voice well he does voices I don't know if the others do voices he's setting up his own channel um, so yeah, if you like D and D, comment below. <laughs> um, and I've decided to stitch this on a. It's so a Weigart sixteen count um, pewter. I did have a another one, uh, which was stone grey, but I think it's too pale. Um, if I can find a picture of what it's going to look like, I'll pop it up. Um, it was I bought it off Etsy. Um, it has got three colours in it, but I'm just going to do it monochromatically um, with three seven nine nine. So not quite black. Um, it says beware of the smiling dungeon master. Um, yeah, I'll pop a picture of it because um, all I've got is a printed chart here. Um, I'm a bit worried about showing it um so yeah um sorry <laughs> um speaking of ideas i have had another idea and i'm not kitted this up yet um i bought this um, over a year ago maybe um and it was around remembrance day um, or coming up to, or I'd seen it, I think, um, which is this always remember. Um, so obviously, the poppies are a symbol of like remembering those that have fallen in the war. Um, it has got an American flag on, which I, I would reach out as a um, the British flag if I can. Um, or I could just leave the flag off. Um, so that's by Plunge Street Samplers um, and it's got it's fox and rabbit fabric in eucalyptus and then some over dyes which some of which I've got um, but I've been trying to get hold of I think it's that one classic colour works you use brick um, which you can't seem to get anywhere at the minute um, and that's actually for another design which is I think the strawberry fields by Blackbird Designs um, 
so I think I've almost given up the ghosts on that and if I find it before I start it I'll um, put it in but if not I'm just going to have to substitute I think um, so yeah thinking about doing a sow to start on VE day which is the 8th of May here in the UK um, I'm not sure if it varies um, slightly anywhere else um, so if you want to do that let me know um, like I said I'm, I've not kitted mine up yet at all um, I'll probably hot foot it across to pig side or, or patchwork rabbit is the other option um, to try and get those pieces for that um, and it's just yeah the world's a strange place at the minute um, who knows why he's doing it um, right I am going to move on to Hall um, so if you don't want to stick around for that thank you for joining me goodbye <laughs> um, and if you are sticking around um, sorry if I enable you <laughs> I'll, I'll give you any ideas um, right so Hall <laughs> sorry I had to grab a drink then <laughs> so um, Oh, this should be good. And then I'm looking at the box going, that's not good. <laughs> um, so I got these little hoops off Amazon. Um, I think they'll be fine for finishing. Using on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, on a whip. Um, I've used them on a couple of pieces. Um, Quaker Rose, I've got it on. Um, but I think, like you say probably all right for finishing not for day to day um but yeah just got them off amazon um, and i got them for finishing anyway so i'm not too worried about that um so <clears throat> right. uh, another amazon purchase was this oops Bees and buttons. I had ordered this a while ago, um, but it's come from the US, um, which is Midnight Owl. Um, and it's a piece you could have up all year round. You don't have to have it up in just autumn or around Halloween. So, and I absolutely love the colour. Yeah, the turquoise. <laughs> turquoise and red. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, I've got some needles off Amazon as well. Um, 28 um, John James and they're the petite ones um, and then I got a pack of the Bowen I think that's how you say it um, and it's got all the needles in although I don't think there's a 28 count tapestry in there there's only 26 um, but I've heard people say they are a lot better than the DMC 28 count tapestry needles that I seem to have rather a lot of so I'll work my way through them first um, but yeah next next time I go to order some needles I'd like to know which which ones I prefer there's um, I think Lakeside I've got some other ones as well and so I'm just going to play on different projects to see um, if I, what I prefer basically I, I changed the um, size of the needle pin on the fabric um, but as I'm moving up to like the 40 count I'm thinking is there a better needle that's better suited for it um, so speaking of needles might as well move on to needle <laughs> um, so I've got uh, two orders that came in um, I think I'd shown previously on that sampler 15 I had a wooden dog um, which had a space for just tying your floss in to the needle minder so this isn't coming out. Um, I've not used this yet because I was waiting to show you. So I ordered a stitch on me. Oops. Um, Ouija board. Um, sorry, crinkle crinkle. Um, 
as you can see that's got a little hole at the bottom so I was thinking I could loop my floss in that um, the magnets are strong um, and my worry was when the other one came in that the magnets weren't strong enough and that was true um, what I also would say um, I think it was on my last video sorry put it down <laughs> was the Trinit's needle minder that I had which said love sewing um, I did glue the magnet back on the magnet fell back off it's now going on my magnet minder minder um, that's in my bedroom with my other stitchy bits um, and it's not practical um, that, that's two needle minders that I've disqualifies as not practical um, so yeah I'm looking forward to using that um, it's the only one I've managed to f other one I've managed to find that's got that hoop in the bottom um, I'm getting awfully tempted by um, Jessie Jessie does stitching uh, UK on Instagram I'll link them down below. Um, she's a, they do lovely um, like floss drops, um, so either on the the metal hoop or um, like the, I want to say the card holders. <laughs> Can't think what they're called. Um, that they're made out of uh, polymer clay. Um, instead of cardboard with the holes down the side what I'm trying to say um, but she hasn't got any of the, the stitch on me sort of style um, so I might reach out at some point on that as well um, so I bought the main reason I went on there was to buy something a needle minder for my son who's sort of he's playing around with it getting a little bit into it but lost his needle <laughs> We all know that feeling. Um, so he's a bad Star Wars fan. That's not coming up very well. Um, so yeah. Um, sorry, crinkle, crinkle. May the force be with you. And then it's just got a pink heart on the back. They are super strong. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's not going to see it's not budgy uh, at all um, and while I was on there it'd be rude not to wouldn't it especially when they're doing a discount as well <laughs> so I got a matching set so I'm going to think of it again I used to really love pandas when I was younger pandas and dolphins I think they've moved on to slots um, which is a bit bizarre, but I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so I got the two oops, needle minder and the scissor fob, um, and that one just comes with a star on the back. Um, whether my son might swap the star for the heart, I'm not sure. It might be a bit too. Uh, yeah, they're boys, they're growing up. My oldest has decided that pink is a colour that anyone can wear now Where, whereas he was younger it was eh, that's pink eh, that's purple it's a colour it's not you know. um, I wear blue <laughs> um, and then I got stitching because adults harding adulting is hard um yeah this next month's gonna be full on at work um so yeah stitching's keeping me sane um and then the last thing i ordered which i've seen on other people's um boss shoes so I, thanks for being able to, um but thought was a good idea is a pair of foldable scissors I haven't actually used these yet. Um, so, oops. Can't get it back in there. It's always fun. Right, 
got it. So they just come like that, and then they pull out like that. So what I wasn't doing then was pushing them right down before putting them back in. Like I say, I've not used those yet. Um, lovely rose gold. They're actually a hemline product. 